Hello my beauty family, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new, hi, my name is Victoria and I'm here to share with you my passion about makeup and skincare. So if you still haven't joined my family, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you will be notified about my future videos. Also follow me on Instagram and I have a TikTok account with the same user name. Today, guys, we're gonna talk about five the best red lipsticks you can possibly find. Who doesn't like good red lips, right? It was so hard for me, guys, to find five favorite formulas. I'm still kind of thinking about switching some of them. It just proves that throughout my life, I was using a lot of formulas. I've been loving a lot of red lipsticks. I normally love those reds that have a lot of blue on it, so they can make your teeth whiter. They look really, really flattering for a lot of skin tones. I think, guys, that I got for you five the best formulas. And I think, guys, you will be able to find your favorite lipstick in this video. So yeah, I'm really, really excited. Hopefully, guys, this video will be helpful for you. Hopefully, you will find here some formula that will work for you. I want to mention from the beginning, this video is not sponsored. So if I don't like something about those lipsticks, even though they are in this list, there may be something that I would recommend you not to do or something like that. I'll let you know, guys. Don't worry about this. Uh, I'm super happy with those formulas. So there is maybe something small that I'd love you to do to make sure that you're getting the best from the formula. Honestly, for me, it's super obvious what formula is the winner of all of the situation, but we'll try today all of them. I'll start from the fifth place, but I want you to know that those are still my favorites. There are no bad formulas here, okay? If they got in this top five, it means they are really, really good. So the fifth place, it was really hard for me to choose what lipstick would get into this top five red lipsticks. And I was thinking between this KVD lipstick. I like this formula a lot. I'm not gonna stop on this one. It's just beautiful shade. It's really comfortable on the lips, but it's more like a casual lip. And I'm going for something like more bold. Like, I love this lip, don't get me wrong, I still love it. But today I'm gonna talk about this Sephora Collection Cream Lip Stain in the shade 01, always red. This is matte classic red that retails for $15. So this is, guys, what I'm wearing right now. It's super comfortable on the lips. It's a liquid formula, so if you love liquid formula, you're gonna benefit from this a lot. So what I want to mention when I'm talking about Sephora Collection, I'm not a big fan of every lip formula Sephora Collection has, but those lip stains are really, really cool. Let's talk about price. $15 for good lip stain, come on. It's a great price. I can definitely tell you that this is the cheapest lipstick I have over here. This lipstick is ultra pigmented. It has avocado oil, which is gonna hydrate your lips. You will not feel this crazy hydration. I would highly recommend you guys to check out some uh, lip liner, something that would be like as red as this one. It's gonna protect your lips. It's gonna hold the pigment even better. Like, look at this. My lips look blurred. My lips look really, really great. And the color is insane. You can definitely notice there is quite a bit of blue on it. So it makes my teeth really white. I love it. This is like the best part of a good red lipstick. You know what I mean? It's not sticky. It's comfortable on my lips. I like it a lot. From other side, I need to mention that it's a little bit more drying than other formulas just because it's a liquid formula. I decided to add this to my top five just because I feel like I'm reaching for this quite a bit. I love wearing this when I'm going out like for a dinner or something. I don't wanna leave any lip marks anywhere, you know. It holds the pigment, it's really beautiful. Even though when you're eating something, it's still there. I love how beautiful it is. Sometimes I can notice that it's drying my lips. So what I love to do before applying this lip stain, I love to make sure that my lips are super hydrated. So let's say within like a an hour before I know I'm gonna wear this lip stain. I'm applying really, really rich lip balm on my lips. So I'm basically prepping my lips because usually liquid formula, it's a bit drying, but it's definitely beautiful red color. It's super affordable. I think, guys, if you're looking for red liquid lipstick, that's gonna be a really, really bold red color, true red color, I'd call it like that. That's definitely an amazing option. I like it a lot and I would highly recommend you guys to check this out. All right, so let's wipe those lips because I have for you a second option.
so the second lipstick I want to talk about is actually Too Faced Lady Bold Cream Lipstick in the shade 01 Lady Bold that retails for $24. So this is what I'm wearing right now. I remember my obsession of this lipstick when they launched it last year. Oh my, as soon as I saw this, I'm like, yes, yes, yes. That's a beautiful shade. This red is just stunning. It's shaped as a heart. This is such a stunning packaging. Everything about this is just so, so cute. This whole collection was really good. It has a magnet cap. When you're opening this, you see this sign to face. Beautiful. Everything about this is beautiful. I was wearing this all the time when I purchased this. I remember it was some kind of a sale when I got this and I have a video about this. This is such a lightweight lipstick. This is really comfortable on the lips. It's a creamy formula. It's not matte. So when I went out and I was eating dinner, I remember that I was leaving marks everywhere. It was literally everywhere just because, you know, it's a cream formula. But when I asked like, hey, how do my lips look? I've heard the answer, they look good, what do you mean? So even though I was leaving marks everywhere, I could see that the color was still staying on my lips. So I wasn't losing any pigment. It just was beautiful as, you know, as I just applied it. I was so impressed. It was the moment when I, you know, fell in love with this lipstick even more. It was beautiful. I do like this formula based on the way it feels on my lips. It feels really lightweight. I like it. It's just crazy that it can transfer on stuff, but the color remains the same, you know what I mean? I feel like, guys, Lady Bold collection from Too Faced definitely worth the hype. Honestly, I haven't even seen a lot of people talk about this, and it's so weird because this lipstick is just stunning. Yeah, my lines now kind of not so good, but trust me, guys, it's a second lipstick. But we will come to the fifth one. You'll see what bad lines mean, okay? I'm just joking. Maybe I will have a steady hand on the fifth try. Anyway, this lipstick is beautiful. We need more hype for those lipsticks, you know what I mean? We definitely need more hype. The only one thing that I wanted to get ready for is that this lipstick is gonna make your lips a little red afterwards, you know what I mean? So it's kind of bleeding. Look at the color. It's such a rich, beautiful red color. There was time when this was my number one red lipstick. And I truly feel, guys, that it was trying, definitely, if you love cream formula, if you don't want any drying matte formula, get this one. This is such a beautiful shade and it's not messy like, you know, cream formulas can be. So I would definitely recommend you guys this lipstick. If you like some comfortable, cream formula that would wear amazingly and that would give you that bold look without drying your lips. Okay guys, I want you to take a look at my lips right now. When I was mentioning that this lipstick is bleeding, that's what I meant. See, my lips kind of red. I don't think that's something horrible. Usually when I'm wearing some lipsticks that bleed, I use lip scrub afterwards, so it's not a big deal for me. Um, I still like this formula a lot. I still would recommend you guys to check this out. It's just the feeling, how comfortable it is. I can't even tell you. It just, I can't even tell you how badly I love this lipstick on my lips, like the way it feels. Super lightweight, super creamy, but that's what we have to deal with. Okay, guys, if we are talking about the easiest red lipstick, I think I can call it lipstick ever, that's definitely gonna be this one. It's a NARS Velvet Matte Lipstick Pencil. I have a shade Dragon Girl and it retails for $27. I used to think that this is the most vibrant red I have in my collection, but after even those previous two, you can definitely tell how soft and nice looking it is. I got this, I believe, in my boxy charm. I can be wrong, but I remember it was one of the subscription boxes. I was obsessed with this product. I was literally in love with this. The way how it feels, and it's such a beautiful red. It's so comfy. It's so easy to apply. Like when you have two minutes to finish your look and you want to add some red lips and you don't need any challenging lipsticks. This guy, it's gonna be so handy for you guys, I'm telling you. 
beautiful formula, a little bit pricier than previous two. It stays on, it doesn't clump on your lips. It contains vitamin E, which helps this product to go on so smoothly, so nicely. It's such a rich formula. Honestly, I haven't worn it for a while, and I'm thinking that probably tomorrow I'm gonna wear it for work, because look at that. It's such a smooth, beautiful, buttery formula. It looks really, really nice. It doesn't look too crazy, I'm not gonna lie, but I truly thought before that this color is the most vibrant red ever. This is the product when you need something that goes on really easily, that goes on smoothly, that's not drying your lips, that stays on, but it's not giving you like crazy color. It has pigment, it has great pigment, but it's really settled. Like if we're talking about, you know, red settled lips. Like, is it even a thing? This is for people who don't like to spend a lot of time for creating their lip color. Truly beautiful, giving you this velvety matte finish. So comfy, so nice. I like NARS lip products. I feel like they do a great job with their lip formulas. And I definitely would highly, highly recommend you to check this out. And I really wanted to pick up more shades from this line. For some reason, I just never did. But guys, I still really want to do this. Just because now when I applied it again, I barely feel something on my lips, you know what I mean? It's such a lightweight formula. I really like it. That's why I added this to my top five and I would definitely recommend you to check this out. You know, now when I'm looking, I see that this red, it's not like a true red. It has this berries undertone, which is pretty. I'm not gonna lie. I like it on my skin tone. I don't think it's gonna be flattering for darker skin tones, so definitely swatch it before getting. I know that they have different shades, they have a little bit deeper reds, so you can check out that ones. This one is more like a berry red, and it does look good. It feels good. I just want you to be aware of everything about those lipsticks, about possible bad sides, about something that you need to avoid. I want you to love those lipsticks as much as I do, and if you will not be aware about everything that could possibly happen and about some tips and tricks I feel like you guys will not be able to love those as much as you know you could possibly do so that's why I'm trying to help you and I'm trying to suggest you the best of the best Okay guys, so the next lipstick I have on my lips right now, and it's in the second place. This is Fenty Icon The Feel Semi Matte Refillable Lipstick. I have a shade, the MVP. It's a blue-red shade. So this lipstick retails for $20, basically a refill and case by itself retails for $12. So the whole lipstick that I decided to get was $32. Anyway, this packaging is sustainable, so I kind of understand the whole idea of what I don't like about this. I think my packaging is either broken or something happened. So guys, if I will, I guess I can do this now. So look, if I will press it down to lock it, for me to get this out, oh, it literally takes forever. Like I can do this, but it's so hard. I'm scared to ruin my lipstick. It just, the whole situation is crazy. So this is the most common case you can get. There is also another case that's like a matte black case, really pretty too. The packaging by itself looks really, really bougie, okay? I, I got this. But I've heard so many people complain about this. I've seen so many bad reviews about the packaging by itself. People don't even complain about the price of the whole lipstick. They complain about the case being either defective or they just, you know, people say that probably they weren't able to follow the direction or they did something wrong. It just, it's a little bit annoying. I'm not gonna lie, but let's talk about formula. So this is really creamy, semi-matte finish. Uh, lipstick color is beautiful. It has that beautiful blue on it. So this color can be flattering for a lot of skin tones. I'm really, really excited about this product. It feels super lightweight. Guys, this is like hands down one of the best formulas from Fenty. I don't like the price point. What I like is the color, the way it feels on my lips, how long wearing it is, the smell of this, and the ingredients list. So from ingredients list, we have hyaluronic acid that basically plumps our lips. And we have vitamin C and vitamin E for conditioning our lips. Also, it's vegan and cruelty-free. I feel like you would definitely enjoy the formula if you still haven't tried this. The red is gorgeous. 
gorgeous, beautiful. I could possibly put it on the first place if I didn't discover that next one. And also this packaging, like this case situation, okay? Like I love new innovative packagings. It gets so annoying and frustrating, you know what I mean? But by itself, lipstick is insanely comfortable. Highly, highly recommend you guys. If you want something that's gonna feel light on your lips, that's not gonna dry your lips, that's gonna be still semi-matte finish, so not quite drying, but still long wearing, it's just beautiful. It's beautiful. I'm wearing this very often. Lately, I've been really into red colors, okay? This one is one of my go-to lipsticks. I'm trying to leave it like that, honestly. I almost never lock it just because I'm having a hard time getting this out. Like, this whole case situation is kind of annoying, but the lipstick is super comfortable. I almost don't want to wipe it. It looks so good and it feels so good, but I have for you guys. I think it's the best formula on the market right now. It's so loud, I know. I'm obsessed with this formula, okay? This is my go-to formula. I'm literally grabbing this and going to work like on a daily basis. I'm just obsessed. So let me wipe my lips and let me show you the best formula, number one formula that I would highly, 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 highly recommend you guys to check out. It's just the best of the best. It's a first place as well. So yeah, let's check this out. Guys, are you ready for this? I'm sure you was able to notice what lipstick I was using for my lips right now. And you probably recognize that the best of the best is gonna be Give Original Me Clean High Performance Matte Lipstick. It's a true red that retails for $26. All right, guys, Gwen Stefani and her signature red lip, okay? Like, you can't beat that, all right? Um, let me tell you why I'm so obsessed about this lipstick, why I feel like it's the best of the best. First of all, it has such a beautiful color payoff and beautiful, beautiful velvety matte finish. When you're looking at my lips, you see how stunning the shade is. It just perfect red color. It's not drying. I was wearing this lipstick when I went to Boston. It was for a whole day. Uh, at the end of the day, I felt like my lips got a little bit dry just because it was windy, so I took it off. But I was wearing this from the early morning to like the middle of the day, and it was just beautiful. It felt like I didn't wear anything. I felt so confident wearing this. I also overlined my lips with a little bit darker shade of a lip liner. So I felt like it was beautiful, like that gradient was just stunning. This product is vegan, it's cruelty free, and it comes in a recyclable packaging. If you want to know my whole opinion about lipsticks from Gwen Stefani, I was reviewing also this satin lipstick from the same launch. I will link that video down below. That was an amazing video. That was my first impression. You should see my face. Like, I had a lot of things to say, so definitely check out that video. I'll link it down below. But if you look at this packaging, there are gonna be refills, okay, guys? There are gonna be refills, and I'm ready for them, okay? I'm ready. If the formula is gonna be as good as this one, like, I'm down for this. Um, it feels a little bit cheaper than, you know, other lipsticks. It doesn't have magnet cap. It's like a little bit cheaper. It does have scent. It's not bothering me at all. Usually I'm really sensitive to fragrance. Fenty lipstick has this like expensive scent, you know, smell of the expensive lipstick. This one doesn't smell this way. It has fragrance. There's definitely something, but it's just okay. There's just fragrance here. It's not bothering me. I'm sure guys, it will be fine as well. It just doesn't smell as luxurious as Fenty one. What I like about this, the color story of the whole collection. I love it. This black and white and the golden letters. I just, I'm obsessed with this. It's just the pigment, the color payoff, the way how it's wearing throughout the day, that it's so comfy. It's not drying your lips. It makes your teeth so white. I'm obsessed with this lipstick. Guys, if you're thinking about red lipstick, about super comfy matte formula that's gonna stay all day, it's gonna go on smoothly, that's gonna be super bold, that's gonna make your teeth really, really white, that's gonna stay true color in just one swipe, you have to get this, okay? This was an amazing launch. I definitely have to check out that liquid formula just because I was looking at that one and I didn't pick this up. Now I'm regretting just because I've heard so many good things about that one. Like you could tell, I was talking just about one liquid formula that I like. I like more bullet lipsticks, you know what I mean? I feel like they're more friendly to me. 
Even though I really enjoy liquid formulas too, it just I prefer bullet lipsticks. But now when I've heard a lot of good things about that liquid formula from Gwen Stefani, I'd love to check this out as well. I'm waiting for this sale. Honestly, guys, I don't even know when I'm gonna release this video, so there's a possibility I'm gonna have it already, but we'll see. So yeah, guys, that's the best formula so far. Highly, highly recommend you. Like basically all of those lipsticks I already mentioned. And I hope you found something helpful for yourself here. I'd love to know, guys, what is your favorite red lipstick? What formula do you feel like is the best of the best? And also let me know what lipstick that I mentioned in this video you've already tried and which one would you love to try? I'd love to hear your feedback, guys. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you still haven't. I will be really happy to have you guys in my YouTube family. And yeah, thank you for staying with me today. It was so much fun for me to share with you my favorite red lipsticks and I feel like we did a great job, right? I'll see you all guys in my next video. Bye!